Sonic folks. So, at today's replay, um, this game I actually had a couple of days ago. And the more I looked at it and the more I thought about it, the more... I thought, you know what, let me feature it. And I was super stupid at the time and I didn't grab the screen. So, I'm in my Le Fantastique. And I featured my Jupon in a few replays. And I finally managed to, uh, to grind out the Jupon. Now I'm in my Le Fantastique. So the Le Fantastique, tier 8, um, a French destroyer. And as you can see with the consumables, uh, reload, booster, it's got uh, speed, whatever you want to call that, engine boost. There we go. And I've got the coal mod. I don't know how I got it, but that um, enhances your engine duration. So that's why I got like 3 minutes 30 uh, of the engine boost. So I'm in the tier 10 match here. We are teared up with He-Man in his Minnesota, Tier 9, and uh, my friend Louise, who I featured yesterday, and who will be featured tomorrow again for a Richthofen play, because the man knows how to play CVs. He's in his uh, Chapayev. He's grinding that line. So, four cap points. I see our... We've got a Holland and a Smaland going over A, and I decide, all right, let me go to D. I remember, I don't have smoke here. And heaven forbid, if you're in a DD, that doesn't go to a cap point. Your team will crucify you. They will find your pet mouse and feed it to a cat while you watch, etc. You will be called noob, etc, etc, etc. So luckily, this cap point has ample islands to shield behind. So pop out, see if I can see anything, and I'm communicating all the time uh, with the guys. And what I'm doing is I'm just backing into this little cove here with my stern. And the whole idea is, if I see something uh, on that left cap come through, I can quickly bail out. And there is a fritted gross coming in. Freddy is bad news. Freddy's have secondary. Secondaries chew up. Uh, my friend Louise uses his radar. And I get radar. The only thing there that can radar me is the Edinburgh. And I see, unfortunately, there's a Yu Yang and a Z23. So I'm up against a similar tier destroyer and another destroyer. And obviously, their team is over there. If you look at the minimap, in the one line, in F1, our Holland is going wide, a small hunt is in A, contesting that. So they've got fairly free reign there with only one DD contesting them. I've got the bulk of it here. Now that Edinburgh was a radar Edinburgh, so uh, the guys decided to focus it. And the Shukaku, that has quite a bit of clue, he decides to bomb the Edinburgh. And also, so let's be honest, the Edinburgh is not the strongest ship. And I see this Yu Yang coming. Pop my reload booster, and I start going to town. He smokes up, but I'm landing a couple of good shots. Get a fire. He has to use his damage control, and I. I accelerate out of the cap. Now there's two reasons for that. If for whatever reason he managed to launch torpedoes, I can avoid those. Engine boost deactivated. And I was spotted and somebody might blind fire that spot and then rip me a new one. So we see how Baltimore is being super brave or super stupid here and pushing quite a bit. They're taking the decap, and it's time for me to contest it again. I am spotted. It's the Yu Yang again. This time he's got his guns face towards me. But He Man in his Minnesota wrecks him. I use my repair party. 
Or my damage control, sorry. My damage control. I'm gonna send a couple of torpedoes that way. So with you, Yang, gone, I've only got the Z23 to worry about. And I'm behind an island, so I might as well start shooting. Pretty, pretty is turning out. And I see the Z. Freddy kills the Baltimore. Took a couple of last shots. And part of the reason why this was is I wanted to draw out the Zerg 23. I wanted to see if I can get that Z23 into a fight. Because I got both Louise and He Man here uh, in the cap with me. And then we can get rid of another destroyer. Our friendly Smaland on a cap manages to kill the enemy daring. So we've still got three destroyers and I've only got one destroyer. And at the moment I'm in the cap. I'm the only one holding the cap up. You can see He-Man and Louise sporting there. They've got torpedoes going out that way. And again, I'm going stern in. So I'm going stern in and the reason for that is the moment I'm spotted I can actually accelerate forward and get out of dodge. So this is pure cat and mouse play at the moment. There is a enemy Masashi. And uh, I remember Louis saying that Musashi is not good for his health. Musashi's versus Japayev's not good. I try and fire over the island. I realize no, I'm just creating swimming pools for the kids uh, that live there. Now I need to flush this Z out. I spot the Z. He can't resist the temptation to shoot. And I push him forward. Now I know exactly which island he's behind. And I can make a play on that island. So we've got both A and B caps. They've obviously got their C cap. I need to be careful so that that Musashi doesn't see me. I keep the island between, this big island on my right, between me and the Musashi. And I'm sneaking up on the Z. Pop my reload booster. Break his engine. Managed to land six shells. The Chicago managed uh, to land a bomb or two on him as well. And I know he used his damage control, or his, uh, his damage control. And He-Man in the Minnesota, he takes out the Freddy that was out there on the 10 line. But I'm still being contested for this cap. This Zed cannot contain himself and he starts firing at He-Man. And... Let's see what we can do. Personally, sitting in that smoke, that close, I probably wouldn't have fired. But then again, I'm a, I'm a moron of a DD player. I mean, I've been trying lately, and you've heard all of me rage a lot less on the channel about DDs. He is shooting from his smoke. Proximity spot him. Because I knew exactly where he was. Torpedo's out. Stop gunning him. Push him forward. Unfortunately, a slip out. 
But He-Man gets him in the Minnesota. So you see exactly what we did there. We couldn't dislodge him. I went in behind him. I stupidity him. He had to go forward. And... Ooh, Shikishima just rips the Masashi a new one. Anyway, coming back to the story. He was behind an island. I went in from the one side of the island. I had a bigger health pool than him. Launched torpedoes. He was forced to go forward. His smoke was running out. And because he sat firing in that smoke the whole time, E-Man in the Minnesota knew exactly where he was and loaded HE and could absolutely destroy him. So we've got all three DDs. They've got no DDs. We are now taking D camp as well. And it's time that I actually start doing something about uh, getting some damage. So I see one out there. I don't want to start firing until I'm sure I've got the cap. And I'm obscured on the island. He spots me just as I secure the cap point. And it's only taken me 12 minutes to secure this cap. As a TD. <laughs> Sometimes life isn't all about sailing and repeating uh, battleships. That sail in a straight line. I set a fire on the monarch. Damage controls a single fire instantly. Don't know what he was thinking there, but okay. He's the monarch. He's, he's very close to getting. He's got a British battleship. A tier 8, they already get a decent heal. A tier 9, you put the lion that gets a super heal, and then obviously tier 10 and the conqueror. Ooh, the Georgia takes out He-Man and his Minnesota. And He-Man really, really did help me out along with Louise in this match. Would it have been possible to play this well? Ouch. Yeah, would it even have been this possible to play this well if it wasn't in the division? I'm not sure. The enemy Shikoku has now finally woken up to the fact that there is a DD. As a Smaland kills the Obel Marble. And um, with only four ships remaining and 800 points and the rest of their team, I decided, you know what, might as well come out here, start shooting, start playing, my job is done. As I expected, the Monarch uh, sends me to the bottom. Well, we got 830 points. We got three caps. Shikishima just uh, kills Georgia. We've got eight ships. They've got three ships. That was well worth going out there and actually having some fun and gunboating. Now, one thing I need to mention... My Le Fantastique here is stock standard. I haven't upgraded a single, didn't upgrade the hull, the engine, or anything. So I think this was my second match, and at the first match didn't go well. The second match, once I understood and got to learn, got to learn the ship a little bit better, got to know her a little bit better. Obviously, this went much better. So we can see the Shikishima as well as the Smolant going in, capping C, we're denying them points. And this match is almost over. And I grabbed a freeze frame there. Only got one cap, one cap reset, a fire, an incapacitation, and 18,000 damage. But I think this particular match showed how effective DD and division play can be. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Le Fantastique replay. 
Hope everybody has a fantastic week further, and uh, we'll speak soon. Take care. Cheers.